All right, Russ, what are we doing? Carbon foam. <laughs> I'm uh, getting ready to test fit this guy here. But uh, I had to carve out a bunch of foam first to be able to fit it in there. So that it's... is the uh, the border for the emergency exit. Luckily, Wes knew somebody close by that was building a bus that didn't need it. Yeah. So we got some freebies. And hopefully it'll fit. Yeah, the prophet, he came home, red up to the bone. His eyes were open wide, and his heart had turned to stone. Women, drugs, and sex, all outside of victory. Talking and living on my own amendment. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So from there. It's just one, yeah, 20 inch deal going straight, straight sideways. So there's only gonna be, we'll have to spread, spread some glue on the ceiling, like way down here and right up close to here because it's gonna angle down to this way. So you have a little cavity here of airspace. I don't know how to look good. Looks awesome. You got a you got partial ceiling for the first time in two years. I feel so domesticated. <laughs> All right, Wes, how's it been going in here? It's been going good. <laughs> what are you working on there? Uh, I'm figuring out how the heck I'm gonna 
make a cover for this transition area. I don't have any real good mounting points to mount to at the moment, so I'll probably have to screw on some wood blocks or something and create a, a nice flat panel that goes on here and close off this top side up here. So it's gonna be a little tricky, but we'll get it figured out. I'm using the poster board method. Just like I do my transitions, use this uh, poster board and create templates to go up here to uh, you know, actually form it up in place and everything. So, you got that from Dollar General. You said that's probably the best you found for templates. And I've looked everywhere for good poster board, and uh, Dollar General store has this stuff. It's just the right thickness, it, it mimics sheet metal pretty darn well. And, uh, you know, sheet metal only bend one way unless you have a English wheel or whatever. So, this stuff acts really just like sheet metal. It's really nice. And just got some sheet metal outside as well as some tubular steel for the underbay. But just for those that have been waiting for a ceiling, it is mostly in all the way through the bus. Went back home for a wedding and Wes finished this up. It looks fantastic. Um, next step for me is to actually go through this back bedroom area and paint the walls. Because as we went through, you might have noticed that the walls in the bus are now more of a whitish gray. And to show you how much the the uh, whitewash yellowed that is the difference in between a gray whitish paint and what the walls were before so went through repainted everything going to put a piece of art right here got some touch up paint to go through um, on the uh, on the dark gray but it just looks so much better in here with that light uh, gray and like I said, back here in the bedroom, gonna be doing that as well. So I'm about to take all of the uh, all the blinds down, everything off the walls, move everything out of here. That way, be able to come back here and get this painted. And for the ceiling, what we're looking to do is on the side here, um, go with the same uh, very light gray. And then here in the middle, something that we had talked about before but throwing up some vintage maps it's got a bunch of vintage maps in here mod podge them up there got the mod podge and the brush and everything will be good to go but these are maps that Wes actually was collecting because you were planning on using them for your bathroom right yeah I was gonna put it in the bathroom of my bus and decided to do something different so I uh, gave him to Chris about two years ago and he's hanging on to him this long yeah <laughs> so just bunch of old maps the one that we were looking at yesterday was from 1942 um, this actually might have been it just a bunch of old weathered uh, maps they have that vintage look to them this is the Africa map yeah think, this was the 1940s so. 1943 yeah so yeah they look really cool nice and weathered and that's gonna go down the center here throughout the entire bus with gray on the side and get everything patched up. So we, what Wes had mentioned is actually using uh, the trim pieces along the side too, because we actually got some rope that was possibly gonna be used like black rope for a trim. But the way that this looks here, looks pretty darn good. So once this back area is all painted, then going to start on the ceiling here with the Mod Podges, because I can be on the bed and just have uh, access to everything and start back here in the back and then start installing the maps. I have a piece of plastic that will cover the bed with and everything because that Mod Podge I'm sure will be pretty uh, pretty gnarly. And then went through and removed uh, the old vintage map that was here with all of the, uh, basically it had a map underneath it and the epoxy never dried, went through and scraped all that out. Um, had some old Time magazines. Might have to close this actually. Because it's kind of messing that up. But these are old ads from a Time magazine. I think it was a 1970 Time magazine. So you got the TWA, you got an old Studebaker ad, and then a Mercury Cougar ad back there as well. So just going to put some epoxy over this. And this space fits my camera bag that I have. So I'll be able to put all my camera gear right here, be able to lift it open, grab my camera, push it back in there and get that done here pretty soon. 
So Wes will be working on this up here. I'll be painting in the back, putting those maps up. What's what's your initial thoughts right now on that? My brain's just smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how to do this. It'll work itself out though, one way or the other. Uh, honestly, I think I'll just have to put up some blocks first, and then I can start tacking the the poster board up there and creating shapes. And it's gonna have some kind of funky. You know, this will be flat here, but it's gonna follow this contour. But might have like a little panel like this, and then smooth back over. You know, just I got some goofy contours here. I got to deal with, so it's gonna kind of be like an F117 stealth with the little triangulated areas here and there, pretty much. I think it'll look great. Yeah. Whatever it cool. ends up being will be fine with me.